Welcome back to Metroid Prime Hunters! We have another new planet. Actually, we have two new Ooh. planets to discover. By default, we have the Vesper Defense Outpost. And we also have Arcterra. Clever name. Well, the game's pointing us here first. So we'll check out the Vesper Defense Outpost first. Off we go! Ooh, a little space colony just hiding out here in space. Probably abandoned. Man, why don't we ever go to populated areas? Too many things to shoot. No, oh, that's true. Too many questions being asked, too many witnesses. Just... That wouldn't do it. Okay. This one feels a lot like the Celestial Archives, because, you know, we're in like a space station type deal or whatever. Yeah. But uh, this one works a little differently. This one is all about doors and shields and stuff like that. Because we're actually going to get a brand new weapon today! What? Yeah! To the series or to this game? Both! I like that. Yeah, How... These prophecies, they all yeah. like these shows. How soon do we... These Olympic there? prophecies will help you with the end of the game. Wait, really? Yes. It's not just fluff. It's not just fluff. You may think it's fluff, but it'll actually give you the good ending. Wow, that's... that's actually funny. I will explain why when we get to there. But okay. right now we gotta worry about these petrosils. They aren't mock toids? Uh, no. Okay. I, again, I'm, I'm not quite sure what they really are. They don't look like Metroids. Well, like, yeah, your, your traditional homegrown Metroids. You said they were Petrosils? Yeah. Petr like, maybe, like, maybe they are mock troids, but why would they, what would they be doing here? Well, I saw something uh, talking about spores, so maybe they're just like little spore creatures? Perhaps. I mean, this might be close to the Talon 4 system. Mini so. spore spawns, maybe? I don't know. This place is toxic, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe that's what the timer's for. This feels more, uh... Yeah. Celestial Archives was for, like, archival stuff. This seems like it's uh, a war place, you know? Things are going bad around here. Uh, uh, what? You see, things just scanned out of, out of nowhere. This, like, frozen fuel line. Why do we need to scan that? Well, because it's a frozen fuel line. You don't freeze fuel. I didn't think of it that way. Well, there you go. I'm glad I opened your eyes to the Metroid Prime Hunter's thought process? Question mark? There. Maybe they're telling you that you need a, a fire blaster next? I don't know. Or these, uh... Enemy respawn points, I suppose? I just spit on enemy enemies until you destroy them? I don't know how much I like those, like, respawners. Like, it's just a hologram that just farts out new enemies. I don't know if that's a good fit for Metroid. It's just another hazard, I guess. Okay. They've been there since, like, the early days of gaming. Ever played Gauntlet? I have not. Well, they had that, too. Respawning enemies? <laughs> they had these things that would, uh, just spit out enemies near constantly. <laughs> that was the first artifact, though. Oh my god, already. Just flying through this game, oh yeah. And now we're trapped. Dip, dip. Oh, down, there we go. Down, down. There we go. All right. What do you think had the best use of the DS Touch technology? What game? Hmm. This one's pretty good so far, I'd say. It's doing wonders. I'm trying to think. Like, really innovative DS games. The only thing that comes to my mind is WarioWare. Yeah, I'd agree. 100% agree. Because I don't really think... There were a pretty sizable uh, amount of DS games that just had them on the DS for fun and didn't even utilize, you know, the touch technology. WarioWare Touch felt like it like belonged on the DS. It couldn't belong on any other system. That could still play it and still feel fresh. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is uh, the big... Uh, the big room du jour here. I spy a missile tank. There's, yeah, it's right off the bat. There's a missile tank. Yep. But also energy gates. Couple energy gates just to make sure you don't uh, run off and go crazy there. Here we need to do a bit of a double jump. 
Every every Metro game is a bit different on how they do their bomb jumps. Yeah, I I noticed it's a uh, just gotta find the right. Off. Just the right. Boom! But uh, almost. Oh, the timing doesn't seem right. Got to kind of get it Ooh. on the. Got to kind of get it on the way down. Right, right. Boom. <laughs> boom, boom. There hey, we go. There you All go. Right. Oh, 10 missiles. You're just drowning in the stuff. I haven't even used it that much. There's a door in here, actually. <laughs> Not the most obvious thing in the uh, world to see. Wait, but I'm going the wrong way right no, now. No, don't go that way, no. I want to go this way right now. I'm getting ahead of myself. My apologies. Is it a cool thing back there? We got three rooms set to go through here. That was the first one. The second one is up here. Boosh, boosh, boosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you... You can't convince me this isn't just a pinball world. See, we're loading up the next ball. That looks a little bad. Th that does- that looks terrible. It looks like a brain. Yeah, is, none of this is looking good. Is this a giant living organism? Spectral lock... Uh, I lock these, there we go. Oh, hey! The cortex chamber? You're telling me this whole entire place is powered by a brain? Time to break it. Time to give this planet a headache. Ew! Uh, Is that just brain matter? Oh, do not like. Well, uh, look on the bright side. At least here we have our first new weapon of the game. The Battle Hammer! Pardon? It's essentially like a... like a... a shotgun. What? That's so cool! It's a heavy-duty repeater. It's like, just, you know, you know, big boom. Takes care of green doors. Awesome! We have limited ammo, though. We can, uh, control it with the touchscreen. Hit this right there, and that's how we can change the weapons that we're gonna end up getting. Okay. So, uh, yes. Limited ammo for the power beam is thankfully gone, but now we have limited ammo for all of the other weapons. Which is why we have these things called universal ammo uh, pickups. Oh. And that's why there's 12 of them. There's more universal ammo pickups than any other uh, pickup in this game. So, and let's get moving. Yeah, now we can go in here. All right, get ready to be shot out. Pinball time! The, wait. Transition door! Uh, tra uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Loading! Loading! Yeah! yeah. Alright, we're in. So we've got a whole shield down there that opens up an entire, uh, second area. This is our stronghold portal. Takes us to the boss when we find that, uh, other... other artifacts. Sealed force field. So we need this so we can break these. Oh my god, Samus with a shotgun. So cool. These things start appearing. Take them out. There's the spawners up there. And a turret right up there too. Shit. Never then shooting at me, it all hurts. Never then shooting at me, it all hurts. I hate radars like the one on the bottom screen. Yeah, that just doesn't help. This is just it's here, somewhere. There's something in the general area. So, don't destroy that find crate. It. I make a little jumpy up here. First floor column force fields unlocked. Nice! So, that undoes that. What happens if you destroy the box? You have to reload it or something? Probably. Just come back, come back in. Okay. Besides, that only opens the way to, uh, some universal ammo. Defend our territories from extra territory. We deploy to lethal bioweaponry. Bioweapons? No. You shouldn't yeah. deal with those. We're a peaceful people, but we defended our homework with a fierce determination. Let me guess, space pirates? I feel like it's always space pirates. Now that just seems... If you're reading this message, our plan to contain Gorilla was a success. Honor our sacrifice and do not seek this thing. Only harm can come from such a course. Okay, it may have been space pirates. Just throwing that out there. Might be pirates. Gorilla. Gorilla. Is it a gorilla? Gorilla. That sounds like, uh... Something that's gonna happen at the uh, at the end game there. Uh. Or what if you say it really fast and it's like 
it's something that stabs you. It's Goria. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's from a certain Asian country. Maybe it's from North Korea. Do not do not seek out North Korea. Maybe it's an STD. Because it doesn't have a soul. And at the third place here, it takes us uh, underneath, I think. Loading. Different. There we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. So we got more of these things showing up. These are Psychobit 4.0s. Oh, we <gasps> jumped right from 1.0 to 4.0. The new and improved version. Super cool plasma. They can freeze you. Oh, no. That's actually kind of cool. What's the difficulty curve like in this game? Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, like, is it fair, or do you think they're kind of throwing too much at you? It's pretty fair right now. Right now. I, f I feel like anything a human player can do to you online is... 8,000 times worse than what the game can do to you. Okay. Ow. So, yeah, it's challenging. They want you to keep visiting your ship and keep coming back and kind of keep chipping away at this, but... I'm a, Me I'm a Metroid Master, I'm a Metroid Prime uh, veteran, I'm a first-person shooter veteran. I'm an old dog when it comes to gaming, so this isn't that difficult. Seems it's, pretty standard. It's y You can manage, I promise. For all the people going to go pick up a copy of Metroid Prime Hunters... So I know you're all, ru you're all rushing towards it, I, yep. I can tell, yep. I believe the last time we checked, it was a cool 35 bones. I think I pretty much sold you all on this game so far. It's it's <laughs> looking pretty uh, pretty spectacular, if I do say so myself. Honestly, you might be able to get a, a double deal if you get the uh, the demo cart as well as the main game. I think the demo cart's cheaper than the than the actual game. That still blows me away. I don't remember any other game that had a demo cartridge. But maybe I didn't look hard enough. Alright. That was kind of cool. Up here. There's another artifact. Or some history first. Mm. Our enlarged four brains? We're too smart to give way to extinction so soon, you see. Yeah. Yes. The smartest uh, amalgamations in the galaxy could oh, not look. be taken over. Oh, look, the smooth brains are experiencing mm. an extinction event. <laughs> we powered our entire facility by a very Chad brain. Ooh. Hello. This is another hunter. This is Silux. Hi, Silux. Silux is a piece of shit. Actually, just a guardian. No. Oh. But Silux is actually here, and he will be, uh... He's, he, he's here. God, you're shotgunning it with such precision. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man, it actually messed you up. What I do like is that, um... There, there are things that are, that are still here. You know, don't focus so much on what's not here. Focus on what is. I like the fact that the vision disruption is uh, is yeah. still in here. That was cool. It still feels and plays like a Metroid Prime game. You know, it's it's not like, like it's not like Okami Den, which tried to be like Okami on on the PS or on the, on the DS, because it was all chopped up. There was a lot of loading screens. It was just not as good. It was very mm. gimmicky. This at least plays like an actual Metroid game is supposed to play. So it hits all the right notes, is what you're telling me. Except the whole exploration thing. You don't have a big, gigantic world to explore around. You just have right. four segmented places, and it feels more like a more traditional, you know, first-person shooter. I, I feel you do lose a little bit of what makes Metroid Metroid. Haha. <laughs> but but it's, it's fine. I can see the appeal, is what I'm getting at. Because how many first-person shooters were actually on the DS that were actually semi-decent? Not too many, if I remember. That's about the only one I can think of, off the top of my head, at least. People in the comments, do you know any other first-person Nintendo DS games? Was there a that... Call of Duty on the DS? Yes. Really? Call of Duty 4 was on the DS, yes. What? Oh god, I forgot about that. We gotta come back in here because we got the battle hammer to take out this door. But the game knows about it, and they put some more enemy spawners in here. Video game? Alright. Do you really need to be predicting all of this? <laughs> Why you gotta be such a game? Are God! They're hacking. They have to. 
they already know what you have before you even get there. I mean, come on. The devs are hacking. <laughs> now this one I hate. This could be real mean if you don't know what to do. What you got there? Uh, this is a crash pillar. I'd be pleasing to Olympic aesthetics. The sentry cyborg is dormant until it senses an intruder oh, great. and returns to a dormant state once the threat retreats. The crash pillar is only vulnerable when it jumps in the air. Oh, really? Yeah, and he's very fast about it too. So get your missiles out. Best way to shoot him. Hi. He's gonna be like, oh, right there. Oh, ew. I don't then, like that. Hi. Yep. yep. Okay, good shot, good shot. Oh, and he even jumps back to like... His, oh. Hi. Sometimes he just like hits you, but you know, hey, we got it, we won. Good job. Can't go through this door. Violet crystal shall shatter the heavens, leaving us in its wake a red stain. Another hint for the final boss. So death. Got the red blast shield here. A precision weapon with zoom functions. Oh my god, Samus gets a sniper rifle. Now, I guarantee that when we come back here, we're going to go through that door. Okay, safe assumption. We're going to have the weapon that allows us to get in there. Right here is our ship portal. That means we're getting close. Or at least feels like it. Yeah, we're getting a little close. Did you mean to do that? I did, yes. Okay, cool. So we can just jump right to our ship. I want to show this up too. Oh, okay. So uh, we can just pop in. Got our weapons and our and our uh, missiles back. All good there. And we're back. Now, so how then, do you get up to that? So uh, what we do is we go to this little boost right oh, here. Oh, will just you. fling you right back up. There you go. That's good design. I appreciate that. Now kick some ass. To say there's no good ideas is a lie. It just could have been better ideas. Hint, hint. Hmm. Feeling a little, uh, <laughs> suspicious around here. Yeah, nothing's attacking. Hmm. Hey. Who's that? Oh! There, there he, he is. is! There's a- I got it. Uh, he is, uh... He hates the Federation. Great. And we have the stink of them all over us. He, he may have been, uh, you know, affiliated with the Federation Ow. in the past, Ow. or at Ow. least, you know, just, a, just an enemy of the Ow. Federation. Ow. I find the best way to deal with him is just to go into Morph Ball and use a whole bunch of Morph Bombs. Because <laughs> he's using this electricity move that is just absolutely mean and relentless. Yeah, he's kind of sapping your health there one point at a time. But if you but if you keep moving around a Morph Ball, he can't hit you as much. Keep dropping the morph bombs that do a bit more damage than your power beam can do. This, I feel, is the best way to get rid of Silax in this state. I mean, I could use the battle hammer, but he hurts a lot. Oh, I thought he already, like, went away. Oh, no, he's... He, he, he hears we have two octoliths. Oh. And we're on our way to get a third? Are you kidding? Oh, dear. He's, he's gonna step in and say, hey, how about if I take those off your hands? I... So, about how aggressive he is, I think that'll be an easy thing to do. I, I, I believe we have started off on the wrong foot. My name is Samus Aaron. Where'd you go? Uh, I wish not to fight you. Oh, hey, there he is. Oh, did you just, like, bonk him? I think like, I did. Run so hard into him, he just went, ah! So, shields go down, he's gonna run in here and be like a little, little bitch, and, uh... He'll, hey, little bitch! He won't he'll believe this guy, check this out. Yeah, what have we got here? So, uh, he, he runs in there, give us a little bit of a break, catch our breath, get some health back. Okay. And, uh, hey, I see you! Hey, I see you! I see you in there! <laughs> Is he just seriously just hiding Look, around man. the corner? Yeah, they just get another bit of, you know, missiles that work. Yeah, yeah missiles look good. Alright, man, listen here. Are you gonna get back so I can... And then you just get locked in here, and then he starts shooting automatically! Oh what the fuck? Oh my god, seriously! What the hell?! What the hell?! <laughs> Silux is such a little bitch. They had to give him a heads up. Silux is, I think, what Silex. a lot of people, a lot of people in the fandom call uh, Samus's main rival. I think mainly due to their Federation affiliations. And he brings in his ship. He's bringing his. He's bringing his ship. He's gonna fuck us the fuck up. Oh my god. He, he is serious about this. All right, dude. Let's chill. I know. Let's chill just a little bit. Again, that's why I like the morph ball. I feel like I move around better and faster and easier, and I can avoid some of his other traps. 
Yeah, he actually and, and is he's already almost trapped. dead. Check it out. Damn. Good call. Good call. So did you know about this, like, back when the game first came out? Like, were you able to figure this out? Or is this... Uh... Well, I mean, I beat the game when I was in high school, but uh, okay. when, when I did this in practice, uh, I was like, okay, here's Psylocke, huh. and he just starts shooting at me. He's like, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop! Oh, God! <laughs> hey, stop it! Hey, hey, hey! And then I tried the morph ball technique, and, well, that seemed oh. to work. It all works. Well... There's a last artifact. I don't think we'll have any more any more interruptions when we go uh, defeat the boss and get another uh, get another octolith. That's the hope, at least. I mean, of course we have a boss. I mean, they won't leave an octolith undefended, of course. No, no, no. no. Let's see. We've had a skyscraper or mm -hmm. a tower. Uh huh. We've had a giant eyeball. Uh huh. I vote. Uh. A really angry fork. Really angry fork. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. Uh, like, um, what's the fork do? How does he attack? Uh, well, does he like lift, lift up in the air and then jam down, or does he like stab? Is it, like it's a stabbing that or function? Every prong shoots a laser. Oh, la laser fork. Okay, yeah, like laser that. fork. You know, that's that's a that's a good idea. I like what you're thinking there. But then, so. like on the flat side of the fork, it has an eyeball, and mm -hmm. that's its weak point. That's where you shoot it. So he jabs, and then he turns around, opens the eye, and then you gotta shoot. That's, that's a, okay. I like that. I like that. It's not too bad. We'll hop in here. We gotta go a little bit of a ways to uh, to get to the stronghold portal, but not too bad. It's okay. Nah, this this level still seems pretty short, even though it. It's just a tad longer than all the other ones, but they weren't that long either. It's just because I know where to go. Most of the length is, it's supposed to be like kind of labyrinthine, a little confusing. Kind of, kind of quakey, you know? So I just realized, obviously this was on a Nintendo handheld. Do you think the reason they relied on the ship being your save and refill point was because people would play this on the bus or on the train? That's what I'm thinking. I think it'd be easier if they... You know, oh, uh, well, I'm almost at my stop, so I'm gonna hit back to the ship portal and run back to my ship and save, then close, and I'll come back to this later. Yeah. Because the same design philosophy is for Switch games. That's why Splatoon matches are only two minutes long, that's why Mario Odyssey is the way it is. I think it's, yeah. For, for the DS especially, I think it's supposed to be set for smaller play chunks. Definitely. And of course you can go, you can blast through this in like, you know, a few hours, but... Sometimes you only have 15 minutes at a, at a time to play, so mm -hmm. this game accommodates for that. Yeah, it's perfect. You're also supposed to look around and think and, you know, you know scratch your chin and add a few things. And, and explore, question Come mark? back every so often, you know, things like that. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Show me the fork. Time for the third boss. Looks like we are in, like, a giant brain. I feel like this is, like, some deep off-world core or something like that. Yeah, or maybe this started off as Psychonauts 2. Like in some already destroyed planet, this is at the deep of the core. And anyway, here is our new boss! The same boss from the first one! Are you kidding me? Another tower? Say hello to Cretafid version 2. Oh, come on. What a cop-out. I know, I know, oh, I know. geez. Well, while I we're know. doing another stop-and-go boss, uh, how, how's your day going? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, go it's going pretty good, you know. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. In a game that has Metroid in it, no matter how mediocre, it's still okay. You say that, but... Nah, I'm kidding. I will not okay. be taking okay. any further nope. questions. Nope, no, 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 nope. Nope. no. No further questions. No, 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 no. This one works a little bit differently, though, because uh, now you can only shoot the eyes when they are blue. I, I, I think just the behavior just a little bit differently, it being version 2 and all. Okay, okay. So, version 2, aka easier to kill, maybe? Yeah. Maybe that depends on how much damage you're able to do to it at one time. Mileage definitely varies. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, bringing out shotgun. Awesome. Oh, was that a damage cap? I uh, told you, it's cycle based. Fuck! Oh, no. Well, it's all right, it's all right. Again, it seems like you're able to at least continue the cycle a lot quicker. It's either that or I don't remember <laughs> the boss at all. Keep saying those words, you're good. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm kind of being lulled into a stupor, just watching you shoot at a tower. 
Maybe it's the... A, it's a bit more exciting to play than to watch, I promise. Maybe the version 1 and 2 is just, like, chopsticks, if we're going for the fork analogy. Oh, here we go, another one. God, I kind of want to play Phantom Hourglass after watching this. Why? <laughs> So for Watch punishment. me play a decent game, and he's like, I want to go play an absolute piece of crap. <laughs> Phantom Hourglass hurt me. I was we talk, you want to talk about the most gimmicky DS game I've ever played oh, in my fucking, fucking life? Yeah, it's it's bad in the gimmick department. Like, Nintendo, you don't have to have your gimmicks. This is why Star Fox Zero was probably the last Star Fox game ever. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. See, that's why I hate damage cats, because now we've gone into the third cycle of damage. God. I hate that. It's okay. It's, it's yeah, it's okay. It's not okay, but it's It's, it's, it's just, it's just okay. Mm -hmm. You know, if they would have done this, but with, like, a different boss, maybe? Like, change it up, make it two towers instead, and you gotta shoot where the... The thing comes out, but it only has half the health. I'm guessing budget cuts. I think that uh, them making a game like this was too tough for them, and it was difficult and probably troubled. Yeah, I totally see that now that Metroid Prime 4 is back in the original devs' hands. I don't think I've ever seen Nintendo tell us with full honesty, we, we made a bad game. We're, we gave it back to the original devs that made it good. Well, they do they do stuff like that all the time. They, they, when the game isn't working out, they just they scrap it. Remember Project Hammer? No. Project Hammer was a game that was supposed to come out for the Wii. Like you could use the Wii mode to like you know swing this huge cybernetic camera around and stuff like that. Okay, I, it, it was. I, I'm seeing something. It was it was hinted at, and they had trailers, and it was like it had some buzz, and then it just never never came to be. No, I mean like. Oh, okay. Was it silently cancelled, or was there an announcement saying, Oh, hey, by the way, it's cancelled? There was so much nothing, I think they just said, Yeah, it's not happening. It just disappeared, okay. Like, it's not it's not like a Kirby 64's sequel, where that was supposed to, you know, come up for the GameCube, then it came, there was going to be something for the Wii, yeah. and then it turned into Return to Dreamland. So many years later. So, hey, that's all that. That's not You've it. destroyed the mighty tower. Sure. Second form, same as the first form. You got another octolith and just. Same old, same old. Hey, three out of eight? Ain't bad. It took a lot of health from you. Oh my god. It did, yes. Oh my god. It's quite arduous. Well, congratulations on getting your third power crystal. Yeah, we're a third of the way done with the game. Well, three-eighths of the way done with the game. Ah, uh, yes. Three out of the eight sages. Saved. We got another Octolith. Now, quick, you have two minutes to escape. Do not trust your senses. They deceive you. Are we being hacked? I feel like that, uh... The Olympics that are within the code are like, you know, they're, they're security systems. I think they know that we're getting all the all the octoliths, and I think it's it's telling us, no, do not, do no. Not. So here, three minutes to get back to your ship, go. So it went from four and a half to three. And it started from like seven and a half at the beginning to like four and a half, and now we're like three. Well, that's a way to increase your difficulty, just give them less time. Alright, so when's Silex gonna show up again? You gonna try to hurt you? I think we took care of him already. Oh god, who's that? Okay, it's a guardi guardi guardians guardian. are showing up, guardian. so that All makes right. sense. Don't have to worry about them. They're door, just, they're just door, here to keep door, me from door, okay, door, go, 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 door. dude! Yeah! I'm gonna get my octolith back. They're not gonna get it though. It's my octolith! Fuck off! <laughs> they just start shoving missiles th through the small door, and it's just like, yeah, get her! Get her, we can't get her! There is a boost, but I forgot how to use it. Yeah, it's alright. You're you're still making it there with plenty of time. I know how to hustle. <laughs> I go, I go, I go. I go fast. Go, 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 go. 
Oops, sir. Shouldn't be anything keeping us from the, from, from the entrance, though. Just, no, just some spores. Just, 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 just some petrosols. Yeah, just that's all. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, actually good. Yeah. They can give us a little extra health, a little extra missiles. That's good. That's good, actually. But you're like right there. Yeah, isn't, right, isn't yeah. this it? Yeah, we're good. We're right here. Yeah, that's it. Oh wait. Oh yeah, it is. So we got it. It's fine. Huh? Jump up. Jump you can up, jump, jump up. Here we down. are. Made it. Get in the ship. Get in the ship. Get in the ship. Let's get out of here. Ta-da! Hell yeah. Let's get out of here. Next time on Metroid Prime Hunters, we're gonna check out that fourth planet and probably get some more octolits and all and stuff like that. See you next time. Woo! Bye.